Hey friends, hello. Do you people identify this naturally found material? Now this is nothing but an areca nut husk which is from the betel nut tree. Now when farmers remove the betel nut, these are thrown to the ground which later is used by them this particular material to make the hat or simply the caps for the farmers. Now there's another material which is used which is the same now this one but it is used to make organic plates that are used to serve food now this is a raw form of the same which i've got from my native mangalore during my visit now we'll make a very unique never seen before home decor using this welcome back to my channel mad's world of passion now it's very easy to paint this material because it has a very hard texture on it. So here all the colors, uh, you know, it's totally your choice. You can change it as per your need. But here I'm creating a beautiful background of a garden with some sunrise and all that. So I'm painting the sky in the sky, uh, sky blue color or light blue color. Now I'm pretty sure you will not find this material anywhere in the market because this is not sold in the raw form at all in the market. And this one, you know, I got it from my uncle's home in my native during my visit to Mangalore. So I got it from there and I had preserved it for so long so that I could do something unique with this. Uh, so what exactly you can do is you can use a soupe or a, a kulos uh, to do the same similar artwork you can replicate the same on that which would give you the same result here i'm going to use another waste material that is the corn husk and uh, how i'm supposed to use it is i'll make a huge sunflower in the center here to give a good background to the sunflower i've drawn you know the whole whatever remaining part was there other than the sky it using the burnt sienna color to make it look like a farm and then i've made small flowers with black pollens and uh, yellow um, leaves i would say and now that i'm doing the sun using the orange and yellow color and of course the leaves in the light green shade hang this on the wall after completion i've used a small string and with the help of molded clay i have attached the string on the back side of this in fact that clipping is missing so i cannot be showing that here but i just told you what i exactly i did now once the paint dries up you have to apply a coat of varnish before you do any further procedure now this is the corn husk that I have and also its hair here. Uh, I'm going to use both of these in this craft and also in the next craft. And that is why I call this a very unique one. Now what you basically have to do is you have to color this one. And before you do that you have to cut this neatly in the shape of sunflower petals. Now once this is done you have to use a big bowl in which you have to add water and keep it on a gas stove add turmeric powder or food color either of them i was a little apprehensive so i used both and bring it to slight boil you shouldn't boil too much and then you can remove all the leaves after some time you would see the leaves would have dried a little bit and it would have turned a little yellow as well now these leaves they become a little hard and they shrink a bit uh, when they dry up so when they are slightly you know dry and not completely wet you start sticking these with the help of glue gun in the round shape giving it a sunflower look. Now one thing I definitely have to mention here most of the channels uh, you know wherever I saw the use of corn husk nobody has mentioned that these leaves get shrunk and you know they become a little hard so i tried this method for the first time and i really did not know anything about it 
but after some time you know they completely became a little shrunk and you would see that in this video so what you can do instead of uh, using the corn husk you can use the yellow crepe paper or regular paper to make this art as a permanent home decor on your walls after fixing all the husk petals i use the husk uh, you know hair to fix it in the center and i use the tamarind seeds to make it look like the seeds of the sunflower this looking extremely lovely you know i loved it when i made it and this is how it slightly got shrunk that's why do consider my tip nobody would say all this but you know i really don't want to fake my audience and want to show and be honest with whatever that i'm doing okay now moving on to the second art which is something that is not going to get messed up like the first one and this one is very beautiful i am using the same areca nut husk here which is in the uh, in a little different shape this is a little straight in shape instead of this you can use cardboard you can use mdf board or even canvas to make the similar art if you have noticed you know i am not coloring the background at all because i love the natural uh, you know the spots that it has and you know that gives a very nice natural look to your artwork so i am actually not coloring the complete background only the sides because i had to write some quotes there i've used uh, the flesh tint color and i've just made a slight pattern in the sides and i'm making all these flowers using different colors uh, acrylic colors of course now your color is totally your choice you can change the colors as per your wish once you're done with the coloring you have to use a permanent marker here i'm using a sharpie pen to give a good background to the flower by highlighting its petals and the pollens in the center if you do not have a permanent marker you can also use acrylic color to make the similar uh, give the similar effect but the permanent marker worked beautifully on this now to make flowers i use the bottle green color and i randomly drew the leaves uh, connecting the two flowers from top to bottom now once i draw the leaves here i used a permanent marker again to highlight the veins inside of the leaves though it was not uh, so visible it gave a little slightly different effect and then i used a white acrylic color to draw these patterns on the flower which made it look very vibrant but this one is completely optional you don't have to use the corn husk hair here to make the um, you know these stems here you can just paint it in brown color now since i had it and it was not completely dry once it's become you know it becomes completely dry it becomes very hard just like the corn husk so you have to paste it and then slightly remove the extra from it it gave a very nice wooden kind of a texture on it which i simply loved here this again is very optional you can just make pollens by adding some nice color in the center for each of these flowers but since i had the tamarind uh, you know seeds i used them and i wrote the quote love laugh and live and uh, this is how beautiful it is looking when i displayed it at home friends i hope you have liked this unique craft idea that i shared with you all today if you have liked this video please do not forget to like it share this video with your loved ones and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet see you all soon thank you for watching bye bye